Nice. Did you make that? I did. It looks pretty sweet. Thank you. All right. Welcome back. Now, we saw how things happen on the GA side. Brendan, what's going to happen in South Carolina, man? Well, we know one thing. Uh, Barnwell's 9-0. and Yeah. And they were on the road tonight at Bamberg Earhart, who's number eight in the state. Winner in this one takes the top spot in Region 5. They played for the region title last year as well. Is that you in the in the costume column? Were you <laughs> yeah. going double duty? Yeah. Since we're all about How'd the costumes. You know? That's right. <laughs> all right, you know who it is for Barnwell, Craig Pender, but he's picked off over the middle from Glover for Bamberg, and he takes it back to the 35-yard line. Before plays later, Trayton still for the Red Raiders. And they might have had some people worried for a minute. Yeah. Bamberg scooting out in front, 6 nothing, over Barnwell. But Barnwell comes back through the air. Craig Pender, again, this time he finds Howard Fanning. Over the middle, the yak, the yards after the catch, gets it down to the 20-yard line before he's brought down. Second quarter, they hand it off to Dalion Creech. PAT is good. Bamberg Earhart's wasn't, so it's 7 6 Barnwell. Then, the great pickoff here. Mm. Barnwell not giving up. That's an incredible interception. That might be a top play. For the play. War Horses. Yeah, we do have top plays. Uh, that pass picked TJ and Abbott for the touchdown. Run it back. Bamberg not giving up. Deshanti Banks with a great catch. We just had to show you that one. Did not score. Barnwell was in front 14 6 at that point. They win. The region title for Dwayne Garrett's Ball Club, 28 to 12. All right, Fox Creek Silver Bluff playing for the number four spot in Region 2 in Class 2A. I like that intro for the Predators. Good time out there. Against the Bluff. No score first quarter. Jaden Johnson to John Tonius Butler in the truck stick, Colin. Ooh, laying the wood. Uh, but they would have to punt from that drive. Here comes Silver Bluff. They hand it to Darius Johnson. And he is a handful. Making a couple guys miss, going up the middle. Same drive, third and 19 from the 46. Yeah, he was barking like a dog at the Fox Creek sideline there. <laughs> Johnson going to flip it right there. Reverse, reverse to Ja'Cory Tanksley. And he sees a ton of real estate. But again, don't give up on the play. Touchdown saving tackle from Justin Freeman. Fox Creek scored the game-winning touchdown with 24 seconds left. They win 23-21. to 21. Lafayette Stewart's team going to the playoffs. Other scores, batesburg Leagueville steals the number two seed in Region 2 with the win on the road against seventh ranked Saluda. Big win for them. And Allendale Fairfax falls on the road to Woodland. All right, picking up class for a Region 5. North Augusta taking on Aiken. One is looking for their first win of the season. First play here from scrimmage. Bradley Gowan rolls to his right, throws it back across the field and finds Grayson Bridges who rambles inside the 10 yard line before he's brought down. Next play. It's going to be that same guy, Godwin. This time, he keeps it, races into the end zone, and it's 7 nothing. Jackets later in the quarter. North Augusta driving. Again, this time it's Aikens. Reginald Corley, he stops it with an interception. And that's going to move to second quarter. Aiken trying to mount a drive, but North Augusta's. Lonnie Lee intercepts the pass and takes it to the house. That North Augusta wins 49 to nothing over Aiken. A huge one in the Valley night also. South Aiken and Midland Valley. Winner gets the final spot in the playoffs. Loser sees the season come to an end. Later in the first quarter, T. Brands up 28-6. Running back Nequel Ryan takes a handoff and battles his way to the end zone. 35-6, the lead now. Third quarter, Mustangs trying to come back. Harper Puckett connects with Brian Staley, who takes it midfield, but the drive stalls right here on this play. Next play is going to be Nequel Ryan. Runs hard and takes it all the way down to the 31. This one, a watch out. South Aiken wins. Going to the playoffs. 52 to 6 over the Valley. Congrats to the t -Bres. Good night for McCormick. Take it on Ware Shoals. We pick it up with McCormick up 22 0. They hand it off to Chan Durant, cutting up the middle. And Colin, what do I say? He gone. He gone. <laughs> that is a Chiefs touchdown. If I do the math, that's 28 0 for McCormick. Looking to add more cushion to their lead for the two-point conversion. They hand it to Durant again. Fights his way in 42 to nothing for McCormick tonight. All right, battle for the number five and six seeds in Region 3. Denmark with backup QB, Xavion Clark, on his first play as quarterback tonight. And, well, all he does, Colin, is go 50 yards. That's a wildcat. To the 15-yard wow. line. Yeah. But <laughs> Wilson Elko, the defense stood tall on that, did not let mm. them score. So here come the Blue Devils driving. Fourth down. 
They go for it. Deshaun Singleton goes around to the left for a big gain and a first down on fourth down. Three plays later, it's Javier Rudolph for Wilson Elko. Punches in and a two point conversion. And Wilson Elko wins tonight 49 to 14 over Denmark Olar. HKT RSM, the winner, gets a home playoff game, and you see it there. Ridge Spring Mineta wins. Wagner Sally. Swagger Sally. Just rolling the number one team in Class 1A, 42 to 8. Also in Region 3, Blackville Hilda cruises past North. They are the number two seed in Region 3, 44 to 6. Stick around. Wild game night live. John <laughs> Hart's crazy. out of town in Jacksonville. John Hart is sad he missed this one. He is. We will show it to you coming up next. Each year, Football Friday night brings.